Hi, this is Pete Eels of UK Butterflies, and the purpose of this short video is to show you how to contribute photos to UK Butterflies. So the first thing to say is that most images are actually requested from members who've posted in other areas of the website, for example in a personal diary on the forums or in a particular thread in the forums, rather than you posting directly into the species-specific albums that I'm about to show you. So we do monitor every post and every contribution, and then those requests are made. But if you are asked to post an image, then this is essentially the process you go through. So first of all, we need to go to the forums area, and in there you'll find a link to the photo albums. So if you click on photos at the top of the page. Now the area we're most interested in here are the species specific albums. So if I click on that, then you'll see that there's a category for every single species on the uh, on the website. So in this example I'm going to have a look at common blue. Now underneath that particular category you'll see albums for some standard things such as for the Omega which may be qualified by a particular subspecies if there is more than one and also an aberrations folder and there may be a folder for a specific aberration uh, if we've identified um, the particular aberrations concerned. And also albums for the egg or ovum, caterpillar or larva, and chrysalis or pupa. Now in this example I'm going to post an image of the Icarus um, subspecies, so the nominate subspecies of common blue. So what I would do is go into this particular album where I can see the currently contributed images and I would select new image. What I would then do is choose my particular image, so if I just go to my uh, file space I'll select the image that I've uh, got there and I would click continue. And I can upload more than one image at a time by the way. Now one of the things you'll notice about this particular image is the file name which is used to pre-populate the name of the image includes the name of the location and the date. And it's really important that this information is included, as long as it's not sensitive information, because this really does increase the value of the image over and above it simply being a nice picture to include valuable information about, for example, when species are on the wing and in which location they're seen as well. And if I actually submit this, then that has now been uploaded successfully and we'll see that posted in the album. All of the recently contributed photos, by the way, if I just go back to the UK Butterflies homepage, automatically appear in the recent photos collection that you see here as well. So here you can see the image that I've just posted. And that really is a summary of how to contrib contribute photos to UK Butterflies. Thanks for watching.